Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Leopard channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to enable TPM or trusted platform module on your computer so that you can run Windows 11. And I'm going to show you the process for an Asus motherboard as well as a Gigabyte motherboard. But if you are using a motherboard from a different manufacturer, don't worry, the process is very similar. Now to enable TPM, you need to enter the BIOS of your computer. So what you need to do is restart your computer and when your computer is booting, keep pressing the delete key from your keyboard to enter BIOS. Now on a laptop, you may need to press the escape key or maybe F2 or F10 to enter BIOS. It is going to vary from laptop to laptop, but you can easily find your BIOS key by doing a simple Google search. And I have also made a video on how to enter BIOS directly from your Windows computer on any motherboard make and model or desktop or laptop. The link of that video will be in the description of this video. Now, once you enter the BIOS, you need to find the option Trusted Computing. Now, on an Asus motherboard, once you enter the BIOS, what you need to do is click on Advanced Mode. And then from the top tabs, click on Advanced again. And here you can see Trusted Computing. Double click on it. And as you can see, the Trusted Computing is disabled at this moment. So click on it and then click on Enable. Now click on Exit and then click on save changes and reset. Now click on OK and you are done. Now on the Gigabyte motherboard, once you enter the BIOS, click on peripherals. Now in here, first we need to enable AMD CPU FTPM. And as you can see, it is disabled at this moment. Now double click on it and then click on enable. Now for an Intel processor, it will be on the fifth position like this and the name will be Intel Platform Trust Technology and you will need to enable that just like I did right now. After that, you need to enable Trusted Computing and then here you can see Trusted Computing, click on it and as you can see it is disabled at this moment, double click on it and then click on Enable and click on Save and Exit and then double click on Save and Exit and then click on yes and now if we go to the start menu and then type in run and type in tpm.msc and click on ok we can see that the status is the tpm is ready for use which means we have just enabled tpm on our computer and it can run windows 11 and that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.